Hi everybody, welcome back to Desired Foods. Today we are making pork and chestnut stuffing. So here I'm starting out with just some sage and onion stuffing mix which I'm just going to add some water to it. I don't put the required amount that it tells you on the packet, I just put enough hot water to bring it together. So I'm just mixing that now as you can see. And now that this is all combined I'm just going to add one packet of pork sausage meat to this and then you're just going to mix it all in with your hands till it's all combined together. So now that that is mixed, I'm just going to add some all-purpose seasoning and then I'm going to add a little bit of paprika to this and then a splash of Worcestershire sauce and then on top of that I'm just going to add some tomato puree. So now here I've chopped up some dried apricots and some onion so I'm just going to mix that all in now. Now for the next part, I've got some whole chestnuts here, which is already just in a vacuum pack seal. So I'm just going to add that to the blender and just pulse it once or twice. Then I'm going to add two eggs to the mix and then I'm going to just mix in the egg first just to bind the stuffing together and then I'm going to add my chestnuts in and then you're just going to mix this all together as well. So now this is all combined, I'm just going to add it to my dish which I'm going to cook it in. I do suggest that you just um, spray a little bit of oil or butter on your pan beforehand and then you're just going to pat it all in. So as you can see I'm just pressing down on everything just to make sure that everything is flat and then all you're going to do is just pop this in the oven on 180 for about an hour. So now that I've cooked this till it's all golden, this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to slice it up and show you how it looks on the inside as well. So this is a pork and chestnut Christmas stuffing. So as you can see, everything is just nice, moist and meaty in the inside. And this is just a homemade easy stuffing that you would all love. So please try this. And if you do, don't forget to just leave me a comment below and tell me how you thought this recipe was. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.